Very awesome day today, guys. Love it. Uh, I've been looking through some of my old videos, and there was a couple that I've taken offline way back when the uh, Copa thing first came out. And uh, I thought, ah, what the heck, I'll put them back on for you. Uh, one of them is the story about uh, Rindersella, and the other one is the story of uh, the P. Little Triggs. So the first one I'll put out here is uh, Rindersella. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I thought it'd be a little fun to tell you a story my dad used to tell me when I was young and share it with you guys. But my dad had sort of a kind of a speech impediment. He would say his words backwards. And uh, unfortunately, that's the way I learned. I learned the story. The story is uh, of Rindersella, commonly known as Cinderella. I can hardly say it forward. So the story starts a long time ago in this corn country. There lived a beautiful burl. This beautiful burl's name was Rindersella. Now also in this corn country, there lived this prancing hint. Well, one day this prancing hint, he was going to have a fancy fall. So he invited people from Riles of Mound, especially the pitch people. Well, word got to Rindersella's house, and Rindersella's among the other and the two sad blisters went out to buy some beautiful presses. And Rindersella couldn't go, because all she had to wear was some old rirty dags. Well, the night of the Bansy Fall arrived, and Rindersella's mugly other and the two sad blisters went off to the Bansy Fall, and Rindersella couldn't go. So she just cat down and tried. Well, while she was kitten there shrying, a Gary Mudfather appeared before her. The Gary Mudfather says, You'd love to go to the Bansy Fall, wouldn't you? Rindersella said, Of course. So the Gary Mudfather waved her magic wand. There appeared before her a cage stoach and Hicks White sources to take Rindersella to this Bansy Fall. Well, the Gary Mudfather waved her magic wand again, and Rindersella was dressed in a beautiful gown. The Gary Mudfather said to Rindersella, she says, You be home before midnight or I'll turn you into a pumpkin. And off Rindersella went to the Bansy Fall. I hope the noise isn't too much here for you. Well, Rindersella got to the Bansy Fall and she was greeted at the door by the prancing hints who'd been hiding behind a wooden window. Well, they nanced all tight and they lell in above. Well, the clock struck midnight and Rindersella staced down the rares. And as she beached the rotom, she slopped her dripper. Well, the Pransom hints, he picked up this slop dripper and the next day he says, I'm going out to find out who belongs to this slop dripper. So he came upon Rindersella's house and he went to her mugly other and took her by the tut, tried it on, it didn't dip. He tried it on uh, Rindersella's two sigly usters and it didn't dip. Then Rindersella, he, he took her tut tried it on and it bid it. 
It was just the sight rise. So they got married and lived heavily ever afterwards. But the story of the Mori is this. If you want to catch a prince and hints and have him lull in love with you, don't forget to slop your dripper. So that was the story my dad told me and that's the way I remember it. I could never tell that story forward in proper English. <laughs> the words just come natural. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think.